Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So it's October, one of my favourite months of the year because it's Halloween month, it's spooky month. As you can see, I've decorated my bookshelves thus for this special occasion. And yeah, today I thought I would share with you my potion collection. Potions to me, I see as kind of like a Halloween-y, spooky, scary kind of, they kind of have that vibe to them, some potions anyway. And just like the whole kind of spellcraft, sorcery, witches, kind of cackling witches <laughs> with their top hats and their broomsticks, that's the kind of one of the most popular vibes with Halloween. So I think like the Harry Potter world ties in beautifully with Halloween anyway. So without further ado, why not get on with it? This is my potion collection. So here it is. Here is my recently revamped potion shelf. I've recently included these planks of wood so that I could elevate the potions at the back so I could see them all better. And yeah, I, I just think it looks so much better than I did before. I'm going to start right at the back at the left and work my way across like that. So right at the back in the left corner, I have a, well, it's not actually a potion. It is a glass bottle which is meant to be full of nargles. But the nargles are invisible because you need special glasses, i.e. spectrospects, in order to see them. This came from a Geek Gear box and I thought it was a brilliant, fantastic idea. But, but the reason it's right at the back and you can't really see the label is because I realised afterwards that they actually got the magical creature wrong. Is actually rack spurts that you need spectrospects to see, not nargles. So even though it's such a brilliant idea, so original of Geek Gear to do something like this, and I love the shape of the bottle and everything. Yeah, it's kind of it's it's an incorrect thing. It's meant to be rack spurts, not nargles. But either way, it's still really cool and still I, I had to have it on my potion shelf. Behind that by the way I have a potions class syllabus which came out of a subscription box. I can't remember if it was Geek Gear or maybe Gobstone Alley, I can't remember, but it's still really cool and I love the texture of it. It feels like proper parchment and it's filled out with all these different like things you'd see in a class syllabus. And because it's potions related, I thought I'd just stick it at the back of my bookshelf there. <laughs> Next along the shelf, I have a cauldron. This came from the studio tour in London. It's just a plain cauldron with two handles. I just, I like cauldrons and cauldrons are a key part of making potions. So I've got a few cauldrons on here. Just decorative, you know, why not? So yeah, that's there. Next along from the cauldron, I have a draft of living death. I always have to give myself a mental note that it's draft, not draught. So yes, this bottle is another Geek Gear item. Fun fact, it's actually a third attempt to draft of living death that they did but by far the best. So the label says, Draft of Living Death, a powerful sleeping draft. Drinkers may appear dead. It's powdery form inside, but I, I don't mind that. A lot of these potions are in powder form. I suppose it's just easier to put in a subscription box. But yeah, it's really cool. It's like really dark powder, which you'd expect from a Draft of Living Death, which is meant to be black. Next to that, I have a red potion bottle, which also came from Geek Gear, but I hate criticizing things, especially when they're Harry Potter related, but this potion that Geek Gear did, it was their second attempt at a Draft of Living Death. Yeah, it's a plastic bottle, it's red in color, and Draft of Living Death is black, not red. So yeah, I'm not gonna actually show you this potion bottle because there's no label on it, I took the label off. I thought a much better label for that might have been Dragon Blood. But yeah, still really pretty and it's a potion. So so yeah, it's still on my bookshelf and it's just there until maybe one day I come up with a, a another label to put on it. Next to that, I have a little potion kit. This potion kit came from Mist and Magic. So all of the little items on the top actually came inside the box. That's why they are part of it. And I've kept the box because it's such a beautiful wooden box. It has this cute little clasp to unlock the box and inside there's an ingredients or an items list on the lid and they were just packed so beautifully and neatly inside. So the first one on the left is a sleeping draft base formula number 7132 which has some really beautiful crystal like things inside and some like petals or something. The second one in the little sack is dried lavender buds. I've not actually opened it yet because I don't want to ruin the packaging but 
I, I can trust there's there are lavender buds in there like actual lavender buds um but yeah it looks so cute I love that the next one along is gold butcher's broom leaves this again is another beautiful little potion bottle with little gold bits inside looks so cute so like even though these potions or potion ingredients are so tiny they still look really authentic and very beautiful and the last one is crystallized dragon's blood which has little what looks like red crystals in it and it actually has some liquid in it as well um yeah that looks really cool really pretty little potion there next up i have a flu powder this came from advanced potions although when i received it it was from a subscription box called hagrid's trunk they were originally Hagrid's trunk, then they changed to advanced potions and now something is going on with them, I don't know what. This came out of the subscription box and yeah, it's flu powder. It has wax stamps, a very beautiful label, string, it has the melted wax, really cool. It says two galleons, that's the price for the potion bottle. I really love that little touch there. The label says transports people to a predetermined destination, best before 1999. And on the back actually it says property of Arthur Weasley, 1992. Next to that I have an Amortentia love potion bottle. This is a very beautiful potion bottle from Geek Gear, probably the best one that they've done yet if I'm honest. <laughs> Amortentia, the most powerful love potion in the world. It's very beautiful, it's like liquidy, really thick liquid, um, kind of like oily so that when you shake it, it kind of like swirls around, mixes around. I don't know, it's really effective, really cool. And again, it has the cork top and the wax melting down. It looks really cool, really nice. And I love the shape of this bottle. It's such a beautiful shape. Next along, I have two more cauldrons, which I'm showing you together. They, they didn't come together, but the just two cauldrons um the little one is a recent item from geek gear it was described as a draft of living death cauldron i think it's still really cute little potion it has a handle and it's the most authentic looking cauldron i have because you know it doesn't have handles so it's not like a mug because the other two cauldrons i have are pretty are advertised described as being mugs but this is actually like a cauldron prop replica and next to that i have a cauldron that says my favorite word that i love to pronounce all the time apothecary department i said it right that time <laughs> anyone who's been on this channel a while would know that i have trouble pronouncing that word um, and on the other side it says Harry Potter on the cauldron. Uh, this I just got offline somewhere because I just wanted a cauldron for my bookshelves. So that was the first one I got. Going back to the left hand side of the shelf, next layer down, there is a cute little matchbox type box, which is the Mazagiologist Apothecary. <laughs> I can't say that word all the time. Mazagiologist Apothecary Antidote Potions. And inside the little box, there are three little potions or potion ingredients separated with this beautiful velvet inner layer. So beautiful. Uh, this, by the way, came from Mr. Magic. It was from the first box they ever released. So yeah, the first bottle is Darkness Stones which have very beautiful, glittery, dark purple stones inside. The next one is Gold Crystal Essence, which again has little stones or crystals inside of white and gold. And the third one is Missileweed Restorative Draft with what looks like some sort of lycra inside, but yeah, still really cool, really cute potion. The next one along, I have a Polyjuice Potion. This potion bottle came from Gobstone Alley, uh, not a subscription box anyone likes talking about these days. This actually isn't the original label that came with it. The label that came from the Gobstone Alley box just said Polyjuice Potion on it and it, it could have been like typed out on a computer and printed out. This label is a sticker I got from a bunch of stickers that came free with something that I bought. And then I thought, yeah, I'm gonna swap those potion labels over because that one looks so much better. Okay, we're on to very exciting and brand new potions to my collection. This potion is called Siren's Curse. This is one of four that I recently bought from a company called Incantrix. They're on Etsy, I believe, but 
I got these from their actual website. They, you can see just from this potion, it's so beautiful. This came from a Halloween range that they recently came out with. It's another one of those high-end, really beautifully designed and detailed potion bottles. So the label says, Siren's Curse, Enchanted Poison, enchants the drinker to become infatuated with the brewer. And then in like handwriting, it says lethal. Again, it has the beautiful effect of wax coming down, but they have like two different colored waxes. And I think that's a really cool effect. There is a stamp or something on the top of the bottle, a charm type thing with what looks like a ship going over the ocean. So yeah, this could be something that you'd, you'd find on ships maybe. A cute little charm with a mermaid, I think. So this is definitely something you'd find or have when you're out at sea. Maybe something to do with, I don't know if there's like old folklores of like pirates falling in love with mermaids, merpeople, or making merpeople fall in love with them or something, something like that. Anyway, again, really cool potion, really authentic, old fashioned looking label. There is liquid inside, a really deep blue, and yeah, it just looks really cool. Next up I have a potion ingredient. This is also from Encantrix but not from their Halloween range. This is one I've been keeping my eye on for a while. This is barn owl feathers. It's in a cute little jar with beads and an owl charm. It has barn owl feathers in it. I'm pretty sure they're not actual barn owl feathers. Um, but yeah, the reason I wanted this is because I, I love barn owls. They are one of the most beautiful creatures on the planet. Definitely the most beautiful owl in my opinion. Next up, another one of Incantrix's potions. This is another one from their recent Halloween range. This is Dragon Blood, drawn from the feet of a common Welsh green with a silver tipped needle. Yeah, that's that's what it says on the label, which is again, a really authentic old fashioned looking label. There's another bead thing going down with a charm of a dragon. It has the usual wax with the twine. It looks really cool, really authentic. There is a kind of stamp on the top with, well, you can see what it looks like. I can't think what that is called. Again, this potion, is liquid and it's a very deep thick red it looks just like blood there are glittery green bits in there which I suppose is because it's from a common Welsh green and why the beads are green as well but yeah another very cool very spooky authentic looking potion <laughs> next along from there I have another jar of feathers these are eagle owl feathers this is a a potion ingredient from Gobstone Alley. This was a really cute potion bottle at the time. Well, potion ingredient bottle at the time. Very cute label and yeah, very pretty feathers inside. Next along, there is a potion that just says number 25. I made this myself. I say I made it. I, I've acquired a potion bottle, a tiny potion bottle. I, got, I put some, I think it's bath salts inside. <laughs> and a random label I got from the same uh, sticker set that I got the Polyjuice Potion label from and just stuck that on there. That's, that's that. Next along, I have a bottle of Dittany. This is a very, very beautiful, cute potion bottle from Magical Maintenance from Etsy. And on, on the label, it says Mr. Mole Pepper's Apothecary. That, uh, I just they just love putting that label on everything. I established 1106 diagonally. Dittany healing properties. So yeah, if you don't know what Dittany is, it it has healing properties. Inside it has this lycra type stuff with little white flowers which are poking up at the top as well. I just think that's a really cool effect for a potion bottle to have the contents of the potion sticking out of the top. I think that's really cool. And the twine and more little white flowers. It's just so beautiful. And it's a beautiful shaped bottle as well. Uh, yeah, I saw this on their Instagram and I thought, yes, definitely have to get that. Love it. The next one along is an anti-venom serum. This came from Mist and Magic, the last box they came out with. On the other side, it says, this serum is in gas form. One breath is enough in most cases do not exceed three or it can become lethal so yeah if you've been attacked by something venomous i suppose you breathe this in and it helps cure it yeah you can open the cork 
and you can see that it's actually empty inside. Going back to the left hand side of the bookshelf now and on the bottom layer now we have my Mandrake restorative draft. At the very top it says Mandrake raised by Professor Sprout and underneath the name of the potion it says a healing potion used to restore those who have been transfigured or cursed to their original state. Brewed by Severus Snape. There are pictures of mandrakes on each side, there are wax stamps on the side and on the top again a little bit of wax coming down, there are leaves and twine and the potion itself again it's a really thin thick liquid and inside there is what looks like lycra and twigs it looks really cool i love how effective this this is for a potion yeah it's really beautiful this is another advanced potions one if i didn't say but this again came out of a hagrid's trunk box when they were hagrid's trunk speaking of mandrakes i have a tiny little potion here of mandrake seedlings so this is obviously a potion ingredient not a potion it has cute little beads coming down seedlings inside which admittedly look like uh, little twigs and leaves and things but it's still really cool. This came as part of a set from Magical Maintenance. This and the little potions next to them, the Gillyweed and Bubba Tuba Pus, all came in this little Herbology kit box, which I still have, but wasn't able to fit on my bookshelf. Oh, and Devil Snare as well. They all came from the same set. So yeah, Devil Snare, Borgin and Burke's 13B Nocturnally Devil Snare, extremely dangerous handle with caution. Again, it looks like Lycra inside, which obviously is very effective for potion bottles when you want that kind of effect. It says caution at the top because, you know, Devil Snare is lethal it's horrible so yeah as i said this this devil snare also came from magical maintenance as part of their hopology kit set i really recommend this little potion set this hopology kit set i generally really recommend just looking on magical maintenance website on etsy they they have some really cool things just like in cantrix really cool potions on there next along i have a powdered horn of bicorn and this isn't a very exciting potion or potion ingredient as it is this came from gobstone alley yeah nothing to scream home about next to that i have some flux weed again this is from gobstone alley it has I suppose lycra inside again. In front of that I have a little bottle of lavender. This again came from Gobstone Alley and yeah I, I believe genuinely has lavender in it. It's a really cute potion ingredient. I think I'm suddenly realising how long I've been filming for and my voice is getting a bit tired. Next along I have some Wolfsbane potion. This again is in powder form. This is one of the earliest potions that Geek Gear did. This was one of the items in their potions limited edition box. There was also a draft of living death which is the same size but it's not on my bookshelf because I already have a draft of living death. That little one is actually in my half-blood print section on my bookshelf. But yeah very beautiful blue powder inside with a cute little werewolf charm. Next along I have one of my favourite potions. This came from Advanced Potions when they were advanced potions. I bought it off their website. I love the shape of it, I love the design, the detail. I just think this, this is such a stunning potion. On the top it says made in Peru because it's proven instant darkness powder. It's technically not a potion, I don't think. It looks like a potion, that's why it's here and it's at the front and in the middle because it's one of my favourites and it's small enough to be at the front. I love the little beads. I love the wax pea. The powder inside or the little crystals inside are stunning. They're very glittery and yeah, just beautiful. Love that a lot. Next along, I have some unicorn blood. This came from Geek Gear. Um, very pretty label, very beautiful colour unicorn blood. This is actually glow in the dark. It does actually glow in the dark. I'm not going to show you because it doesn't photograph well. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. In front of that, I have this tiny little liquid luck bottle or Felix Felicis. This again came from Geek Gear. One of the most beautiful little potion bottles that they did. Such a beautiful detailed label and it has golden powder inside. I need to get one of those little stands that can hold potion bottles like that. I just never got around to it. Next to my unicorn blood, I have this really awesome potion bottle. This again came from Incantrix as part of their Halloween range. Pumpkin head. 
Of course it's Halloween-y. <laughs> this is really cool, I love this. So there is a pumpkin stamp on top of the bottle. So yeah, the label says pumpkin head, transforms the drinker's head into a pumpkin. That would be a very cool Halloween trick. This is twine that comes down, there's a cute little pumpkin charm, and inside there are little pumpkins, like just floating around in this beautiful orangey liquid. I think it's liquid, it might not actually be liquid, it might actually just be stuck there. And yeah, I just think this is so cool and perfect for Halloween, perfect for perfect for this time of year, I love it, so cool. Next along I have another little love potion, this came from Geek Gear. It's a very pretty potion bottle, it kind of looks heart shaped which is brilliant for the for what the potion is. Yeah, it just says love potion on the bottle, it has this beautiful powder inside, yeah, love that. Another Geek Gear item next up is this little Skelly Grow bottle. This is actually, I think it's wooden or something similar to that. Uh, it doesn't actually open, it's just an, like an ornament. It's really cool actually, really detailed for how small it is actually uh, with the skull and the ribs and yeah, looks really cool. Next up I have this little bottle standing on top of a tin. The tin has some dragon treats inside, vitamin and mineral supplements for baby dragons. This came as a set from Mr. Magic as part of their first box, which was all about magic zoology, magical creatures. Inside the little tin, there are little stones, I don't know what they are, orangey things, which Oh, dragon treats. I think this is such a really cool and original idea from Mr. Magic. And the little bottle is actually baby dragon wings soothing lotion repair and nourish. On the other side it says in case of scratch or redness on your baby dragon's wings apply five drops of the lotion on the cloth and gently rub the tender area in circular motions twice a day for 10 days. And last but not least I have a tiny little bezoar bottle which has stones inside, little stones that I got from my back garden. There you go, that was my Harry Potter Wizarding World potion collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below what your favourite potions were, if you could pick any. I really love my potion collection now and my shelf. I love the whole different layers of it now so you can see them all perfectly, see them all better. And um, But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.